So, I have another story from a close friend of mine exemplifying how black parents don't believe in their children and for all intents and purposes this is both of his parents but i'm just going to focus on one of them um his father in particular so my friend is trying to build a home gym right outside where he's living in the back and he has you know a lot of experience going in the gym and he's also taking a course to become a trainer right so it's not just like a big leap or a big stretch for him to have his own business it makes sense it's something he likes to do it's something he's accustomed doing it's something that he has had um, a great deal of progress and results in and it's also something he is passionate about so you know and he's also bettering himself and you know learning the science behind it and becoming certified I mean you know he's taking it seriously and his father is a tradesman he is able to do a lot of construction work woodworking plumbing all those things right and for the past i don't know i don't know for like the past five to six months he has been trying to get his father to help him come and you know just cast out the back and kind of clean it up and make it look good and ready to put down some gym equipment there and actually have a home gym because of course with the pandemic a lot of the normal gyms have closed down so this is actually also a really good business opportunity and timely i mean right and it's like pulling teeth it's like He's asking him for help. So, because if you have a family relative who is like your immediate family, like that close, like, why would you go now try to find some person to work at $500 a day to do a job that if if, if you don't use the people closest to you to do it, they're going to come anyway and say, well, you know, you should not do it this way or this is a terrible job that was done why he didn't ask me to do it like to eliminate all of that and just you know use the free labor that you somebody who is your family member should be you know willing to help you and support you is like you know nothing like is yeah whenever you know and whatever and i'm just it's so so very discouraging and disheartening because you very well know the type of people who would in a heartbeat would be more tusty than you would be all up in your business more invested than you are if they knew that they should make money if they believed that you would be making hundreds of thousands of dollars in the next year from the same business venture that you're trying to do and you're just trying to get a little help out with if they truly believe that it wouldn't be all of this pushback it would not be all of this crap it would not be all of this negativity and all of this small-mindedness no vision having type of mentality where you believe there's only one way or one trajectory that your life should go which is like go to school get an education get a high paying job like that's not always the path for some people and i try that path and it's so weird because i did the get a degree get a difficult degree do well get like awards and scholarships and i still didn't get the high paying job because at the end of the day the time for that has passed and the generations before could i get away doing that but how it is now in our country if you don't have like the networking aspect of it or know people 
to get you in it doesn't matter how great your resume looks because mine looks terrific it's just not gonna work and they need to see that people who have that potential and have that ambition and have that drive in them to do something out of the ordinary especially when you don't even have like the responsibilities like a mortgage or children then you should definitely be um as one of my co-workers say rolling the dice and taking these chances and taking these risks because most of the times this is how businesses were built people fail a lot and you need to be able to allow your children to do that you need to be able to let them um find what it is they want to do and not be so like strangling you know sometimes it's not the worst thing that could happen if they fail at least they have the room to fail now and not later and not look back with regret that you know they didn't try to at least do this thing and see where it goes and now they can't because you know they're stuck and they have to settle for mediocrity and stay in that job that they have no zeal to do so i mean I want to hear from you in the comments like because I'm sure this is not a problem that only I or my closest friends face I'm pretty sure a lot more people have this type of unbelief or disbelief from their parents that is you know somewhat holding them back depending on your personality you might still just go through anyway like me and my friends doing like whatever um but it could be a big hindrance also because not only of the emotional or mental support but the, some of your parents out there have the money to help you and they won't do it because they don't believe in you so that's also a big factor because what we're doing is just perpetuating this lump sum of debt that a lot of us black people are in simply because we're trying to get things that we simply can't afford any other way so let me know what you think and i'll see you in my next video